In addition to being in sales, we are all also buyers. And there's something that salespeople frequently do that infuriates us. Hi, this is Lee Sauls, best-selling author of Sales Differentiation and Sell Different with a new Lee's Lesson. So a salesperson sets an expectation. Your delivery will arrive on Wednesday. Wednesday comes and goes, no delivery. So you call up your salesperson. Where's my stuff? Oh, it's delayed. Sorry about that. Wait, what? You're sorry? Why didn't you let me know that I wasn't going to receive the order on the date you committed? I could have informed my team and we, we, we could have worked on other projects. Lack of communication infuriates clients, sparking their interest to look for another provider. One of the top three buyer complaints in every satisfaction study is a lack of communication. And it's so fixable. Too many salespeople are afraid of their clients. They're scared to give them bad news. I guarantee you that given the options of burying your head in the sand and, and hiding from them or letting them know beforehand, not communicating is always the worst option. Operations dropped the ball, uh, the delivery team messed up, IT blew it, supply chain issue. The reason doesn't matter. You own the client, you own the relationship, you made the commitment on behalf of the company. You need to communicate with your client when an expectation isn't going to be met. Pick up the phone, let your client know. That's when an apology is most appreciated. That doesn't mean they're not going to be annoyed. They may very well be. But they certainly won't be as annoyed as they would be if you failed to communicate. Gosh, so much of business is simple. Communicate, even over communicate with your clients when it comes to expectation shortfalls. They'll appreciate it even when they're not happy with the circumstances. This is Lee Sauls building salespeople into world-class sales forces.